Hi, this is Bradley Bush. Today we're going to talk about parallel and perpendicular. So we'll start out by taking this graph right here. If we take, uh, if we look at the purple line right here, and we look at two points on the purple, say these two points right here, and we just simply do the rise over the run. That's all we're doing. We would have two in the positive y direction. and three in the positive x direction. So if we took that purple line and we just rotated it counterclockwise, we would get the red line here. And the red line just happens to be 90 degrees crosses the purple, the red line crosses the purple line at a 90 degree angle. So really we've just rotated the purple line 90 degrees. Let's look at what actually happens to the relationship between the two points. So this becomes negative 2 because we've just moved 2 to the left on the x-axis and this is 3 in the positive y direction. So for the purple line we get a slope of if we use rise or run 2 thirds. If we look at the red and we'd use rise over run, we get a negative 3 halves. So what's the relationship between these two? Is there a relationship? Negative 3 halves and 2 thirds. That's a funny looking 2 thirds. Let's write that again. Well, turns out that negative 3 halves and 2 thirds are what we call negative reciprocals. So perpendicular slopes are negative reciprocals. So if we look at a slope here, say m equals 3, its negative reciprocal is, well, you take 3 and you flip it, so you can think of this as 3 over 1. You flip it and you get 1 third, and then you make it negative because it started out to be positive. So you flip it and change the sign. So that's the idea here. We flip and we change the sign. So if we start out with negative 4 fifths, the negative reciprocal to that is 5 fourths because we flip it and we change the sign. If we start out with 2 thirds, the negative reciprocal of that is we flip it is 3 halves and then we make it negative. So negative 3 halves. So finding the negative reciprocal is pretty simple. We just flip the fraction and then we change the sign. If it starts out negative, it goes positive. If it starts positive, it goes negative. If we look at parallel lines, Parallel lines never touch, meaning the distance between the two lines always stays the same. If we look at the red line first, and we are looking at the rise over run, we get 2 in the positive y, and we get 3 in uh, the positive x. So the slope rise over run is 2 thirds. If we look at the purple, which is parallel to the red, what do we get? We get 2 
and we get three, same thing, two thirds. Well, that's kind of interesting because those kind of look identical. And that's true. Parallel lines have the same slope. So if you know the slope of two lines are the same, then those lines are parallel. And also, if you know two lines are parallel, you know they have the exact same slope as in here. We had two thirds for the red and two thirds for the purple. That's it. If you have any questions, ask me a co question in the comment. Uh, let me know if you like it and follow my channel. Thanks.